Welcome to Foundations TV, everybody. We are here tonight with Lieutenant Governor Polito, and she is here to talk about a great initiative, which is the Community Compact Cabinet, which she has just recently launched, and I will let her uh, expand on that. So welcome to Foundations TV. I'm very happy to be here tonight. It's been a great experience meeting with so many small business owners and community leaders. And it was very important for Governor Baker and I as we took office to really send a message early on that we value the work that community leaders do every single day. Because in the cities and towns and main streets and you know residential places, people want to feel a good quality of life. That means great schools, right. safe neighborhoods, and communities that are growing jobs and opportunities for people. So the very first executive order that Governor Baker signed was relative to the Community Compact Cabinet. And what that does is elevate the relationship between our cities and towns and our state government. And he's asked me to be that lead person, the Lieutenant Governor, to be that strong connection point for all things municipal and community related. And what I've done is been around the state, region to region, meeting with mayors and business owners and managers and selectmen and school committee members about ways that our state government could be more responsive and more connected to helping communities grow. And that also requires that communities need to do their job and reach the best practices of running their municipality efficiently, you know, making sure they have a housing plan or, or just an economic development plan. And when you talk about economic development plans, you're talking about small businesses. So part of our plan is we can grow Massachusetts everywhere and make it great everywhere, community by community, through this strong partnership, through this relationship, and through the state being a much better business partner. You know, reducing those unfunded mandates, really putting a lid on taxes and fees, and then the whole regulatory environment, making it far more attractive for businesses that are here to grow and to attract more businesses to Massachusetts to create those jobs and opportunities for our working families here. Wonderful, wonderful. So, uh, of course, living in Boston, it comes with a lot of challenges like the weather and the traffic and the city and everything. So I think what you're trying to do here, from what I understand, is create kind of an overlay of all of that and make sure that this is still an attractive place for people to live and they want to get the best out of this area. Of course, there's the most wonderful schools around here and then um, the b for small businesses as well, you would like to make it a place where everybody wants to be? Yes, well, of course, our capital city is wonderful. Boston is known throughout the world. People come from all over to visit it. Yes. And people send their kids from all over the world to come to some of the finest education institutions in the world. But Boston is Boston. It's great. But what about the rest of the state? You know, I'm here in central Massachusetts tonight, and we want to make sure that every region of our state has opportunity, good opportunity for jobs, good opportunity for schools, and good opportunity for safe neighborhoods. And that requires a strategy and a plan and a real attention to detail and follow through. And that's what our administration, what the Baker Polito team is all about. You know, I come from a small business, real estate and construction background. Governor Baker comes from managing Harvard Pilgrim Healthcare from bankruptcy to number one in the country. And we both have government experience, local and state government. So we combine all that experience and bring our energy and focus and real you know, attention to detail to make things better. And there's a sense of urgency to this. You know, government sometimes is known for being slow about turning things around. We're very focused on turning things around as quickly as we can, working in partnership with our business community and our municipal leaders. And it's very exciting. There's a lot of work to do, and it's great that we have the opportunity to spread our word. People can visit our website and learn more about it, and certainly you know, follow me on Twitter or Facebook to learn more about the initiatives that we okay. have. Wonderful, wonderful. And that was my next question going to be as to how can people find out more about it. So it looks like you are on social media, and people can follow you, and the website has a lot of information as well. Yes. All right. Thank you so much Thank for being you. here. Thank you very much. We really appreciate the opportunity to work with you.